Rodriguez. As you can see, not much there differentiating between the two of them physically, but Felicte, the quicker fighter, and maybe a little bit more powerful than Rodriguez, whose defense has become very suspect as of late. Good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen, to the Round Rock Sports Center here in Austin, Texas, USA. This is the main event, and this is Roy Jones Jr. Boxing on BN Sports. Our main event is scheduled for 10 rounds and will be contested for the NABF Super Flyweight Championship. Representing the WBC NABF this evening is Thomas Ashey, Supervisor. This contest is brought to you by Roy Jones Jr. Boxing Promotions and Underwood Promotions. It's presented by Acura of Central Texas, Test Drive, the new NSX, Cerveza Tecate, the official beer of boxing, rival boxing gear driven by a passion for excellence, the art of music when memories fade, memorabilia doesn't, PeteRose.com, the official site of the hit king, and El Panama Hotel and Casino. The bow is sanctioned by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, TDLR. The Commissioner, Mike Ares Mendez. The Executive Director, Brian Francis. The Department Representative, Lee Parham. And the Combative Sports Manager, Big Greg Alvarez. The judges here in our main event are Jenny Cardenas, Barry Hillen, and Richard Lord. And the referee in charge of the action is Mark Colloy. And now, once again, live from Austin, Texas, it's our main event, 10 rounds for the NABF Super Flyweight Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, here in Texas, it's go time! Introducing first the challenger, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 113 and three quarter pounds. He owns an impressive veteran professional record, 32 victories against only six defeats, 19 wins by way of a knockout. Wearing white with black and hailing from Mazatlan, Sinaloa, Mexico. He is the former WBA super flyweight champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Jose Alfredo El Torito Rodriguez. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at 115 pounds even. He owns an impressive professional record consisting of 23 victories against two defeats, 19 big wins by way of knockout. Wearing black with gold and hailing from Bago City in the Philippines. He's ranked number 12th in the world by the WBA, number nine by the WBC, number six by the IBF, and number two by the WBO. He's the WBO Intercontinental title holder, and tonight, the reigning and defending NABF Super Flyweight Champion, ladies and gentlemen, Aston Mighty Felicte. Okay, gentlemen, we've already gone over the rules in the dress room. I want you to obey my commands at all times. Most importantly, protect yourselves at all times. Punches here are good. These trunks are a little high, so punches right here are going to be good. Touch gloves, go to your corners. Why not sweat them? Both fighters have recorded 19 career knockouts. Felicte has done so in 13 fewer fights. Of those 19 career knockouts for Aston Felicte, 11 have come in round number one. The bell, and here we go with round number one of this, our main event of the evening. White trunks for Jose Rodriguez. Black trunks for the champion, Aston Felicte. Felicte immediately takes center of the ring. If you have not seen Palikte fight, you are in for a treat. He's got a very nice counter left. He's aggressive, super punching power, very good right hand as well. He can beat you with the body shots. He can beat you with that knockout power. Very good defensively, very quick with his footwork. Meanwhile, for Rodriguez, here's a guy, and you mentioned it, Sean, he has fought the best of the best. He's losing title fights. He suffered an injury in the seventh round TKO 
in a loss earlier this year in Macau against Jiro and Ancajas for a world title. And also earlier this season lost to Dwayne Beeman, undefeated Dwayne Beeman in July for the UBF belt. But a win here, again, we should repeat, it means so much to Rodriguez. He feels like if he beats Polite on national TV, that'll put him right back where he belongs. And he's hungry and focused coming in here tonight, but he'll need every bit of that and more against the greatness of Polite. Big straight punches from the mid-range and the outside from Aston Polite. Jose Rodriguez told us yesterday in our fighter meeting, it's imperative I make this an inside fight. I cannot get stuck on the outside, which is where Rodriguez is right now. The desired range of Aston Polite. Stiff left jab from Polite. Polite has gotten a lot more aggressive. The more he's fought, every fight he gets more and more aggressive. He loves the sport. When he has a fight, it makes him happy. He loves to train, he loves to box, and he loves his family. He's got a two-month-old son named Jigu. He says everything he does, he does for Jigu, his family, and his fans. Good right hand on the inside from Rodriguez, then back to the outside. 65 seconds remaining round number one, scheduled for 10, our main event. Polite. One, two. Polite used to train at the same gym as Manny Pacquiao. Used to watch him and wanted to be just like him. And that's a pretty good guy to want to be just like. An eight-time champion in Manny Pacquiao. Short uppercut, almost a bolo punch. That was a bolo punch. Counter left hand from Rodriguez. Both fighters throwing big. It's very much evolving already. There's a fight about range. Polite wants the outside, Rodriguez wants the inside. With five seconds remaining round number one. Polite said, if the knockout comes, it comes. I never force anything. He hasn't had to with the tools that he has in his toolbox. A vast array of weapons for Polite. Big right hand from Polite. Turning up the temperature, closing second. Round number one, there is the bell. Into the corner of Aston Polite. That was the corner of Rodriguez as we take a look at a replay from round number one. Polite with the counter left coming up with the uppercut with the right hand. So quick, ducking and dodging, shaking his head at Rodriguez. That uppercut, though, connected squarely on the chin of Rodriguez. Round number two, Aston Polite told us, I expect Jose Rodriguez to come forward. I'm not going to angle. I'm not going to move laterally. I'm going to meet forward pressure with more forward pressure. He'll need to, because it'll be there all night. Double jab from Rodriguez, just the first got through. Staff jab from Polite. Lead left hook from Aston Polite. The back of Polite. So strong for his weight. A body shot taking a toll there, but coming right back with a body shot of his own with the left hand was Rodriguez. Both fighters throwing big. Both fighters listed at 5-4. I'm always amazed, bemused in fact, in combat sports, we obsess to the tenth of a pound, and yet heights, sure, whatever you want to write down on the form, we believe it. Rodriguez with a tight guard, but he drops it, and he saw it early in the fight, open for uppercuts, he ate a big one in round number one. He can get a little reckless as well on the inside. Polite might want to look for that counter left. We've been talking about that counter left throughout the course of the buildup to this fight. Counter right hand from Polite. Polite definitely looks to be the taller fighter. Certainly the longer fighter, more straight up and down. Rodriguez trying to make himself smaller. Eats a big left hand there. Rodriguez trying to make himself smaller to get to the inside. This right here is the desired range of the champion Aston Polite. One, two in the right hand landing. So much pop in the punches of Polite. Uppercut, counter left from Rodriguez, continuing the throw to the body. 125 
remaining round two. Counter left and the right hand from Polite. Backs off Rodriguez. Rodriguez definitely landing on the inside. He's not intimidated at all. Again, it bears repeating. Five of his six losses have come in title fights. He has fought the best of the best. Nothing's going to phase him in there. He's tough. He's a warrior. He's been on a tough streak as of late. Been getting knocked out quite a bit. And again, a lot of people thinking that things haven't been going his way and his career's taking a downslide. He needs to come in here tonight with a strong performance against Polite, and he's fighting like it. Look at the focus and the determination on the face of Rodriguez. There's real creativity in the striking of Aston Polite. You saw the overhand right and the one-two. And Rodriguez, looking for the level change, dunking his head, his shoulder. 30 seconds remaining now, round number two. Trying to dip in the front left shoulder, overhand right hand. That's a counter to that. Left hook snuck in two, and another straight right to the face. Really good combination by Polite. Landed three times in that exchange. A lot of power from these two 115 pounders. World-class fighters in our main event, Roy Jones Jr. Boxing. We are live around the world on BN Sports. Top. 13 hours smoked brisket from a fast food place doesn't make sense. But this is Arby's. We don't make sense. We make sandwiches. Arby's, we have the meat. Money is like life. You have to decide how to get the most from it. And just like life, every decision affects every other decision. The trick is making good decisions today so you're ready for tomorrow when it comes. So we made you some simple free tools that let you see how what you do today will affect your tomorrow. So you can make smart choices about how to spend your money and your life. Personal Capital. Get to know your money. To the corner of Aston Polite. Take a look at the replay here from the end of the round. Polite with the big overhand right. That one hurt Rodriguez. He was stunned as he went back to his corner. Polite with the left hook so quick, getting back to the outside. Another left hand in that exchange. He comes at you from everywhere with power. Brief delay to start round number three. Referee Mark Colloy alertly detecting some excessive water on the canvas in the corner of Jose Rodriguez. Cleaned up to business we go. All business from these two fighters thus far. Left hand from Polite. Rodriguez eating some really big shots and still moving forward. You have to be willing to eat shots to be an inside fighter. That is absolutely clear. One, two from Polite. The right really landing. John, it's hard for me to recall a guy of this size who hits harder than Polite. He comes at you with both hands from angles, those hooks, the jabs got pop on it, the overhands. He's really powerful for a guy at 115 pounds. He hits like a, a guy 20 pounds heavier. Polite again off the jab. You see the uppercut to the right hand. I talked about the creativity of Aston Polite in round two. You saw it in round number three there. Takes a lot of skill and a lot of guts to throw that combination. A lead uppercut. Also a lot of confidence. Two big body shots followed by a left Better to the face. Rodriguez landed the lead left hook in the jab. Leakte scoring, though, with a lot of punches, including that right to the left side of the face of Rodriguez right there. Leakte, the consensus is that he is the emerging fighter, but just two years younger than Rodriguez at 28. 39th fight of Rodriguez's outstanding professional boxing career. Get a career that saw him win the WBA interim light flyweight world title. Rodriguez feels not only will he still be relevant with the win, he will be right back as a world title contender at 115 pounds. Left uppercut from Polite snuck through it, popped his head back there. Rodriguez to the inside, that no is definitely down. a slip. Ruled as such by Mark Boy, you heard him say no knockdown. 
Good bit of refereeing from Floyd, keeping this fight moving. Rodriguez to the body, leaving himself open. Big shot to left hand from Polite. Rodriguez pointing into that right hand. Down he goes, and that's cruel to slip. He ate some big shots before that quote-unquote slip, though, Sean. Polite drilled him twice, once with the left and once with the right. I think Rodriguez is hurt here. Rodriguez really opened up. Polite took full advantage, but Rodriguez definitely landed big, heavy shots on the inside. Now, Polite to the inside. The belt, we are heading to round four. As we take a look at the corner of Jose Rodriguez, now we go to the replay. Rodriguez landing body shots on Polite. This was the most active exchange of the fight in terms of both fighters going at one another. Both of them eating shots that left from Polite lands, then the left from Rodriguez, a right from Polite. This is the same sequence. Look at this action. Both guys giving you a show here tonight. Saw Polite shaking his head no. The universal sign, not just in boxing, all combat sports, that you have that shot landed. Good point, Sean. So many times guys will do that. No, that didn't hurt. When you see that, it did. Every single time without fail. To round number four we go. This is our main event of the evening. Ten rounds at stake. The NABF Super Flyweight title. Currently held by Aston Polite. Trying to advance his outstanding pro boxing record to 24 and 2. Trying to take one more big step closer towards a world title shot for Jose Rodriguez. Trying to put himself back in the world title picture. Rodriguez stepping into the inside again. Flurry of shots from Polite. He's landing more shots on Polite than most of his opponents have, I can tell you that. Polite's defense is very good, and Jose Rodriguez has found the range on multiple body shots in particular in this fight. Rodriguez claiming a headbutt. Mark Floyd telling both fighters, watch your heads on the inside. Two oh five remaining round number four. Three punch combination from Polite. Double left jab from Rodriguez. Rodriguez to the body. See the length on that jab of Aston Polite. Polite just missed with that left. Again, you see how Rodriguez leaves himself open for the uppercut. One of these times, he's not going to be so lucky to get out of the way of that punch. Rodriguez just simply cannot win a jabbing contest. Just based on arm length against Aston Polite. Aside from the fact Polite has a world-class jab. Rodriguez has to try to do what exactly he is trying to do. Level change, duck under, get to the inside, hook to the body. 105 remaining round four. Bounce in the step of Aston Polite. Snap jab once more. Good left hand from Rodriguez. Mark Colloy, great job refereeing, keeping this fight moving. Faint on the right hand from Polite, then the left. That might have been there if he threw it. Uppercut again from Polite. Can you see the jab? There was a jab from Rodriguez. Rodriguez hooking to the body. Polite claiming low blow fight on, says Mark Colloy. Back said, let's go. Polite hit a little bit of a counter left in that last exchange. Combination on the inside from Rodriguez. Final seconds, round number four. Jose Rodriguez, the challenger, versus the champion, Aston Polite, live on DX Sports. Live on BN Sports is brought to you by 
and Acura. Get year-end steals on reliable luxury vehicles like the all-new redesigned 2018 TLX. Visit your local Acura dealer today. Yesterday, we did visit our local Acura dealer, Sterling Acura in Austin, Texas. Outstanding sponsor for this great car. They graciously hosted the weigh-ins yesterday. My wife and I have been looking for a new car. I'm thinking about an Acura after yesterday and today. NSX, you see right there, about 190 grand. Sean, we have to work a lot more shows if we're going to afford a car like that, but 576 horsepower. 576, and it's a hybrid. Think about that for one second. 576 horsepower hybrid Acura NSX. The bell, round number five. We'll see Rodriguez first to the center, but then on his bike immediately. Felite continually trying to keep Rodriguez off of his striking line. Rodriguez wants to continually move forward. Good double jab there from Jose Rodriguez. Confused Polite a little bit. Landed with that second one after Polite got out of the way of the first. Polite not getting the right hand through on the shoulder. Down goes Rodriguez. It was a delayed reaction on the body shot. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that was close. And that is it. Mark Colloy ends this fight. The victory for Aston Polite. He just keeps on rolling. Polite with a brilliant performance there. That shot stunned Rodriguez. It didn't look at first like it was a knockout type of blow. It stunned him. He fell backward. I thought it was going to be one of those routine situations, Sean, where he got right back up. But as the count got past five, six, seven, it took him to nine to get to his feet. But even then, he was wobbling back, stunned against the ropes, could not continue. I think that was a very good stoppage by Mark Colloy and a very impressive performance by Atstone Palikte. And some great sportsmanship there to go over and give him a hug, make sure he's okay. Now 24 victories in 26 pro fights with 20 knockouts for Aston Polite. Take a look at the replay of how this fight finished. Polite caught him with that big right hand, snuck it through, again leaving himself vulnerable up the middle. The defense of Rodriguez became suspect as this fight wore on. You see him falling into the corner. Again, Sean, you called it the delayed reaction. It was that right hand, and it was multiple seconds later. Watch, boom, right there. He's stunned and moving forward, continuing his Polite, and then right there, Rodriguez just kind of falls. No shot landed there. It was that right in the center of the ring. Power personified. Aston Polite really tried hard to get up, did Rodriguez, but look at him right there, clearly dazed, not sure he knew what was going on, and, and he just could not continue. Rodriguez up at nine. And Mark Colloy. I agree with you, Jim. Outstanding piece of refereeing, not allowing Jose Rodriguez to continue.